uh, we support a delay in the licensing scheme because the burden is too high for many. The signs are that this could lead to a major hole in our tourism offer, threatening jobs and our offer to visitors. But we have to admit that there is a problem with the growth of short-term lets. We should not deny that, just in a second. And in some areas, they are severe, but the problems are different in different parts of the country. Because in my part eh, of Scotland, in the East Nuke of Fife, short-term lets, and importantly, second homes, which has been absent from this debate so far, are at such a level in some villages that there just isn't sufficient homes for locals. Those communities won't be sustainable for much longer without a substantial full-time permanent population. The shops won't stay open, the schools could shut, the business could, could close, in part because there are not enough workers, because they themselves can't find a home to live in. Contrast that with the flexibility offered by control areas, which is sensible. If councils don't want to use the powers or only wish to apply them in a small part of their council area, they've got exactly the power to do just that. We support the use of the control areas to cap the numbers of short-term lets where numbers are already too high. I favour action to control the numbers because I'm opposed to heavy-handed national control measures. Those are necessary, but it's important to have something that's appropriate for every council area. And we need a package of measures that includes second homes. And I'm far from convinced that the measures that the government has proposed so far in terms of council tax will provide sufficient deterrent for the second homes. 